The main purpose of this video is to show off how Odoo handles customizing PDF reports. Um, and we're going to follow along with a business case. So the, the situation is that a company is acting as a middleman between supplier and customer, issuing POs to vendors with the products to be delivered to the customers, but the vendor is billing the customer and not the company. Default Odoo behavior, the billing address is always assumed to be the company issuing the PO. So we will need to adjust our PDF purchase report for this. Um, we will be using the modules contacts purchase studio and we'll be using studio fields and report editing. So first thing we'll need to do is set up billing addresses for our uh, customers. So we'll go into contacts. By default, the address on here is going to appear as a delivery address on uh, most customer facing documents. So I will need to add a contact here, invoice type for billing. All right. Now that that's done, we will have to edit the purchase order. So I'll jump into one here. We'll need to go into studio and add two fields. First thing we need is a customer purchase order number, and that's a text field. Customer PO number. And then we will add in a many to one field to relate to contacts. We'll label this customer billing address. Perfect. Now that that's done, I'll go ahead and create a new PO. Select billing as my customer's billing address. We're going to drop ship this product to the customer's delivery address. Awesome. Now we will need to edit the PDF report. So I'll go into studio, reports, Always duplicate your report before editing it. And we'll jump right in. So I want our new fields to appear relatively in the middle of the document. So I'll click left of the expression and I'll start typing customer PO number. I want to make this a bit bigger. And then we will go ahead and add in a field and we will select our customer PO number. Perfect. Next, I will actually add in a table in the same location. On the left, we will uh, select bill to hit my right arrow to go over to the right. From here, we need to start in start adding in fields in order to uh, display the customer's billing address. So I'll do slash field, and I will need to do this multiple times. I will search for, actually I will search for billing to make it easy. And I will uh, follow this relation in deeper and I will start with uh, name. So this is the contact name. Perfect. And I will hit enter and I will continue to add fields in here. I'll do, always need to go through billing. It'll do street, insert that. Next, we will add in another field for a second street line. Perfect. Continuing down the line. Next is the line of the address where we have city, state, and zip. So I'll go city, comma, space, another field. State, and I'll go into state and choose state name. Space, another field. zip. Finally, one more field for, 
country and I'll go in and I'll select uh, country name, insert that. Save this, I'll exit out. Now, if I go to print this PO, make sure it's the copy and open this up. We can see here that the customer PO loads in as well as the bill to address. So this is um, customizing the PDF report. Um, it is done completely in the back end. We'll see we have everything we need here. The customer shipping address, the vendor address, the customer PO number, the billing address. So that will need to be done once recommend you to duplicate your database and test this out a few times make sure that you have all of your clicks lined up because it can be a little finicky editing these pdf reports but it's definitely possible um, and make sure you duplicate your report before you go and edit it that way um, once you make sure that it's working properly you can set that as the default report to be sent out every time you send out a po so I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know. Thank you.